Hi Fudgies, it's Jennifer with The Family Fudge, and welcome back to week two of our special Traveler's Edition Bunches of Lunches. This week was full of traveling. We went to Tennessee, we met up with friends in Georgia, and we traveled back home to California. And this week we have a special bonus lunch. That's right, we're sharing six lunches this week. If you're new to this channel, I would love it if you'd hit that red subscribe button and go ahead and hit the notification bell as well. That way you don't miss out on any of our new videos. Now let's get started. Now since this is a special travel edition of Bunches of Lunches, we're gonna share with you our lunch, but also what we're doing that day. And we're gonna kick off this episode with lunch number one. Now, if you saw last week's video, you'll know that we spent a week at Disney World. We had lots of fun lunches there. But after we left Disney World, we drove up to Georgia. So for lunch on this day, we kept it really simple. We stopped at a local grocery store and the kids picked out their own Lunchables. Both Mackenzie and Lily picked out the Kebabables. These come with pepperoni slices, cheese, and pretzels. And these are really fun because you can actually stick the pepperoni and cheese on the pretzels themselves. And this lunch also includes a tiny piece of chocolate and a Kool-Aid jammer. And then Jackson picked out the Lunchables Uploaded. Now these Lunchables are definitely easy, but they didn't come with a lot of fruits and veggies. So I bought some to go on the side. So each of the kids is getting a small container of fruit salad and sugar snap peas with ranch to dip. And then for an added snack, I also have a few of these cookie butter packs. Now while we're at it, I thought I'd go ahead and show you what Griffin's having for lunch. We found a special little Lunchable for him, which includes pieces of cheese, pieces of turkey, and chocolate covered raisins. Now while we're on the road, it's sometimes hard to find places to stop and have lunch, but on this day we actually found a school playground. So after lunch, the kids got to run around and get their wiggles out, and then we went house shopping. Now nothing is for certain yet, but we really like the idea of moving to Georgia, so we toured several different properties, starting with this new construction house. And let me just say, it was beautiful. It had lots of bedrooms, a wide open living space, and can we talk about the kitchen? I'm in love with this kitchen. It's so big and open, and I could definitely see myself making lots of lunches in this kitchen. After that house, we also visited one that was almost 100 years old. This house was a very different style. It had lots of smaller rooms, but it definitely had a lot of character. Let me know in this poll right here which house was your favorite. House number one or house number two? Next up, we have lunch number two, which was a Christmas pizza party with our friends, the Moss family. They also have a YouTube channel. You should definitely go check it out. I will link it down below. So I wanted to keep it really simple for this party. We had pretty much all the standard foods, including Little Caesars pizza, a veggie platter, which also included cheese and turkey bites. We also had a nice big fruit platter with watermelon, cantaloupe, mango, my favorite, honeydew melon, pineapple, and grapes. Also from Little Caesars, we got some of this cheesy bread. And then to drink, I got the kids' favorite, some Capri Suns. And then after lunch, the kids all got to make some Christmas tree cupcakes. For this, we just took some store-bought cupcakes. Next, we took some sugar cookie cones and we covered them in green frosting. And then we stuck that on top of the cupcake. Next, the kids got to decorate them. We had sprinkles and M&Ms and licorice. Lots of fun things to make these look just like real Christmas trees. The kids really enjoyed this edible craft, and since it was semi-homemade, it was super easy for us moms, but maybe just a little bit messy. Next up, we have lunch number three, which we had at one of the most interesting Chick-fil-A's in the country. This location is called Truett's Luau. This restaurant is in the Atlanta area, and everything is Hawaiian-themed. Half of the restaurant is like a regular fast food Chick-fil-A, and the other half is actually a sit-down restaurant with a real menu and a waitress and all of that. Now I wanted to give you a peek at the menu here because it's really very different than any other Chick-fil-A I've seen. They have some specialty beverages here. 
They have a breakfast, including some macadamia nut pancakes. That sounds really good. You can also get a traditional Hawaiian breakfast called the Loco Moco. Let me know if you've ever tried this. They also had traditional southern style breakfasts. They had appetizers, including calamari. And of course, they had all of the regular Chick-fil-A favorites, like the nuggets and the sandwiches and, and all of that. And of course, the waffle fries. Oh yes, and I can't forget to mention they had some really special desserts and some kids meals, which is what the kids order today. For today's lunch, we ordered a couple special drinks to share, including the macadamia nut milkshake and the frosted pineapple. Some of the kids liked these drinks and some of them didn't. Now for today's lunch, the kids also got to choose their own kids meal. Mackenzie went with the grilled cheese, this also came with a ton of waffle fries, which she shared with Griffin. She also got some veggies and an apple juice box. Now Lily was super excited about her lunch because it came with a huge fruit salad, which she loves. This had apples, mandarin oranges, strawberries, and blueberries. She also ordered the grilled cheese. She got a few vegetables, and to drink, she chose orange juice. For Griffin, I also ordered a side of pineapple fried rice and he ate every single bite. He absolutely loved this stuff. Oh yes, and not to forget Jackson, he was actually in the bathroom when his meal came. He ordered breakfast, pancakes, bacon, and apple juice. Overall, this was a really fun place to stop and have lunch, especially since after that we were headed to the airport. We were excited to get home and to get our Christmas decorations out and enjoy the season with our family. Now, unfortunately, as you can probably tell by Mackenzie's thumbs down, this was not a very good flight at all. I'm not quite sure why, but we didn't end up leaving the gate until we were almost one hour behind schedule. And then right before takeoff, they turned the plane around and we went back to the gate. And we were told it was because they didn't think the plane had enough fuel. So this turned a five and a half hour flight into almost a seven and a half hour flight. Hi guys and welcome to the next day, which was Thursday for us. As you can tell, we did make it home, but it was so late that we didn't unpack anything. So the only activities for today are resting and unpacking. The kids were really excited to be home and they were even more excited that it was raining, which doesn't happen a lot where we're from. Now, since we just got home and I didn't have a chance to go to the grocery store, I pulled out lots of different options from my freezer and my pantry and I let the kids pick what they wanted to have for lunch. They could pick gluten-free pizza. I had some heat and serve falafel. I had some tortellini in the freezer. Of course, I had mac and cheese. I had some tikka masala, some rice, and I also found a bag of mandarin orange chicken in the freezer. So out of all of these choices, the kids picked tortellini and pesto. Super easy, super quick, everybody loves it. Now today the kids are back in school, so I went ahead and packaged this up so they could take it with them. And the rest of this lunch is made entirely out of things that I had on hand, which included some edamame, some applesauce pouches, in my pantry, I found one strawberry applesauce, one peach applesauce, and a good old plain applesauce. In my fridge, I also found just three yogurt tubes, so that worked out nicely. And then from my freezer, I had three leftover brownies, but these are the brownies with those hidden veggies inside. There's zucchini in there and carrots, and I actually think they're really good. I went ahead and added these frozen because I know by the time lunch rolls around, they'll be nice and defrosted. And then last but not least, for an added snack today, I also gave the kids a handful of peanut butter filled pretzels. On our last trip to Costco, we picked up this huge container and these guys last a long time. Hey guys, and welcome to Friday. Today's lunch is gonna have lots of Trader Joe goodies starting with our favorite mini cheese pizzas. Now later tonight, we are planning on decorating our Christmas tree and getting all of our decorations out. So I wanted today's lunch to be super fun and Christmassy. 
To make these pizzas extra cute, I'm gonna take some salami and using my cookie cutter, I'm gonna cut out little Christmas tree shapes and add them to our pizzas. Next up, I'm adding some eggnog yogurt. Let me know in the comments down below if you like eggnog or if you hate it. I know people have some strong opinions on eggnog. We actually really like it in our family and we even like the yogurt version as well. So one whole cup of this is a little too much for the kids. So I'll go ahead and take two cups and divide it amongst the three lunches. And whatever's left over will be for Griffin to snack on later. Next, instead of adding our regular English cucumbers, I picked out these Persian cucumbers today. These smaller sized cucumbers are seedless. They're really sweet and extra crunchy. Now to make the yogurt just a little bit more fun, I went ahead and added a few sprinkles on top. I recently picked up this huge container of Christmas sprinkles. I think they're so fun. Now that the pizzas are done, I'm gonna add them to the lunchbox, followed by lots of fruit. Now this is actually watermelon and pineapple. And then to make it extra fun, I'm gonna add in a few of these snowflake picks. They have so many of these cute holiday picks at Walmart right now. So if you're looking for some, I definitely recommend checking there first. And then in this last section, I gave the kids a choice between having these cheesy trees. These are kind of like goldfish crackers, but they're in the shape of a tree. Or they could also pick some candy cane Jojos. These are definitely a Christmas treat. They're kind of like an Oreo, but there's crushed up candy canes inside. They're really good. And not surprising to me, they all picked the Jojos. And then when I was at Trader Joe's, I noticed that they had some new juice pouches. So we decided to give them a try today. These look just like Capri Suns, although they're not clear on the bottom. They had several different flavors like lemonade, fruit punch. These ones are apple juice. Now after lunch and after school, it was finally time to do some Christmas decorating. But it wasn't until almost bedtime that we got around to the girls' new Christmas tree. The girls picked out a white Christmas tree with multicolored lights. They got to decorate it themselves and Lily was super excited to put the star on top. Now that brings us to our bonus lunch of the week, which is actually from Dollywood in Tennessee. Now you guys probably know that we love Dollywood and we go there every chance we get. We were especially excited to go this time because of the Smoky Mountain Christmas events they have going on right now. But before I show you that, I'll go ahead and share with you what we had for lunch. There are so many awesome food options at Dollywood. So I went ahead and ordered lots of different things for us to share, but I also got some of the kids' favorites too. Now, since it was really cold this day, I thought this white bean chicken chili would be an excellent choice. I also went ahead and got some of the kids' favorite Uncrustables. I definitely know they'll be glad to see these. For our fruit, we have some mandarin oranges. We also have some mixed veggies. Carrots and sugar snap peas are definitely our go-tos here. I also got a few orders of their special potatoes. These smelled so good when we were walking by, we definitely wanted to try them. These are seasoned potatoes with bell peppers and onions, so tasty. And then I also got a couple of these special Christmas cakes for us to share. This is a traditional white cake with chopped pecans inside and topped with buttered pecans. It totally reminds me of something my grandmother used to make. The lunches today definitely got a thumbs up, even from Miss Lily who can tend to be picky sometimes. And then after lunch, it was time to check out all the Christmas festivities at Dollywood. First, we stopped in Santa Land. This is a great place to get your picture taken with Santa, and that's exactly what we did. Now, when you're in Dollywood, you definitely have to stop and see a show or two. We chose the Oh Holy Night Nativity musical, which was awesome. Then we pretty much spent the rest of the night checking out Glacier Ridge, which is literally a winter wonderland full of sparkling lights and a spectacular 50-foot Christmas tree, which has an awesome night show. Now, if you're at Dollywood around Christmas time, you definitely need to check out the Parade of Many Colors. This is definitely a parade you do not want to miss. Okay, friends, thank you so much for joining us on these travel-style lunches. We are back home now, and we are back to school, so don't forget to join us next Saturday for more fun lunch ideas. Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. 
Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Did you find a Luna lunchbox in today's video? If you did, let us know in the comments down below where you found her and use the hashtag LunaLunchbox. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.